you need to understand your sense of urgency. Now, it is time for you to have a protector laying next to you in the bed. You know what, ladies, listen, I have a question. I have a question. I have a question. Who made up the rule? Who told you guys that when a man gets caught cheating, the go-to is supposed to be breakup or divorce? Who told you that? Where did you get that from? It's the worst information you guys have been given, which is why you don't have families anymore. Why there's no family reunions. Somebody told you guys to just throw away amazing relationships. I am telling you, get rid of that information. Me, if I was you, before I let someone good walk out of my life, I would take a little bit of abuse. Are you crazy? Are you crazy? Before I let someone who I even knew had potential to be mine and what I desire, before I let that person leave my life, I would make up my mind to take a little bit of abuse first until I knew the abuse was reaching levels that I can no longer take. Because what's the alternative? Now you're by yourself. The sting and the pain of the abuse, I guarantee you it doesn't match the sting and pain of being by yourself for three to five years. You'd better humble yourselves. I really wish there was a multitude of women who could come up here and tell me right now. Who told you guys that that was the move? Who told you that? Uh, that's right. Your single ass mammies. And you know I don't even curse. Your mama's told you not to put up with any of a man's SHIT. Yet, even coming into that relationship, he was already putting up with some of your SHIT. Walking into the door, that man had to agree to be willing to give advice to not one, not two, but in some occasions, three different people's children. Placing himself to where he cares <clears throat> about the well-being of three children that belong to someone else. And you have the nerve to have zero tolerance. How many of you right now Know somebody that you probably got rid of before you gave him a chance to grow up. Can you say you really went the extra mile? And let me ask you this. How many of you can honestly say that after you got rid of him, it's been years since you had a real relationship? A relationship where your mom knows his name, where your guys as associates, it's rare that people see you without him and him without you. How many of you can honestly say that you didn't go the full yard? And listen, let's be honest. How many of you also assessed and evaluated the BS that you bring into that relationship too? See, because when we're humble enough to own up to that and admit that we do some bull crap that probably any man would be irritated by, it gives you the propensity to give him a little bit more grace for the main gripes that you have about him. You remember when our grandfathers and our uncles used to drink alcohol like this? <sighs> ah, I miss mines. I miss mines. I was raised immaculately. I didn't have everything that I needed. But God saw fit to give me what he wanted me to have. I got to see the inner workings of a for real, for real relationship. I'm humbled of it. I'm ever grateful that God took my dysfunctional situations before he sent me on my way, on my own personal journey of life. He dumped certain tools into my backpack before he sent me on my way. So now I'm equipped with some things. I know what the real deal looks like. 
I know there's no perfect relationship and I don't want one. I don't want one. I don't want a perfect woman. We need to bump heads every once in a while to elevate each other. I do not want a relationship with a robot because how can somebody like her let me know when I'm off track seeing that I'm not a perfect human being and that I'm not going to always get it right? Who better than to help me with my correction than the one who resides under my roof? The one who has pledged to keep all of my secrets and my flaws in her heart and lock them away. The person who won't expose my flaws and my secrets to the public. It's her. And it's him. You better get you somebody. You better get you somebody. You fat women out there. I said it. There's somebody for you. Who will love you. Understand me? I used the word fat intentionally. To be as harsh as I can. To let you know. Even the women who you believe are the most undesirable. She can fix herself to become desirable. If you are fat, I didn't say big, I said fat. There is a man who may be socially awkward. He has his own quirks and he knows that the type of women that are looked at as very beautiful in society are out of his league. Um, but nonetheless, he's a good man. That man will deal with you if you have a beautiful personality. He'll deal with you. And to you big girls, you need to stop acting like you're all that. You need to stop acting like you're all that. You need to be willing to entertain a man. And listen, I'm going to jump away from what I was about to say. I'm going to say this. It's time for your deprogramming, ladies. Those of you ladies who have to have that man who swangs that log like no other, packing that man who his swag is on tilt. You can't have him. Women who look better than you already have access to him. He's out of your league. Stop letting men like that jump up and down on you. And then the moment that goodness oozes out of them, they're looking for their pants. Some of you ladies should be sick and tired of hearing the jingling of belt buckles the moment a man's goodness oozes out of him. And you know what I'm talking about. The moment that man, the moment that that man who has so many more better options than you, the moment that his goodness oozes out of him, he typically reaches for those pants and you hear that belt buckle jingling. And you know what it means. It means you just got used. But in some cases, in most cases, actually, he just got used too. because a lot of you ladies have suffered so much damage. You're so broken to where you've developed a mindset to where you'll just call somebody when you need to bust a nut. Not knowing that the more random sex you have, the more broken, the longer you ladies lay inside of the world of dysfunction and random chaos the more broken you become and you don't even see yourself getting more and more and more broken. You don't even see it, but everyone else does. That's why people aren't coming in to jump into serious relationships with you because they see the levels of brokenness in you that you don't even see. You're only seeing it in stages. I mean, you're seeing it in one while other people are seeing it get worse and worse. I didn't see myself get six foot three and a half. I didn't see it. It gradually happened. I didn't even notice it. Everyone else noticed it. I remember people saying it. Same way with your brokenness. The only thing about it is, because it can come off as rude or whatever, people aren't going to tell you about your different levels, your increasing levels of brokenness. They're not going to tell you. 